morning climbers from Mount Everest this morning, dropping them at the base camp that was also destroyed by avalanches triggered by the earthquake. Speaking earlier to a 17-year-old climber from Boulder, Colorado, by the name of Matthew Moniz, he told me uh, of his sheer terror as he was hiding behind a rock as that avalanche passed through. And once it passed through, he said the entire camp came together to try and rescue the injured, recover, sadly, the dead, at least 17 killed. Now, if you're in a position to help and are so inclined, we have links to the Canadian and International Red Cross on our website at 680news.com. On the International Watch, Joe Stoll, 680 News. 680 News Time 805. Among the Canadians in Nepal, a Toronto man who is no stranger to escaping danger, Adrian Gobriel of City News speaks to the man's wife about his ordeal. Husband and father of three children were Joe able to fuck all remaining climbers from Mount Everest this morning. <laughs> Dropping them. At the base camp. Was also destroyed by avalanches triggered by the earthquake. Speaking earlier to a 17-year-old climber from Boulder, Colorado, by the name of Matthew Moniz, and he told me uh, of his sheer terror as he was hiding behind a rock as that avalanche passed through. And once it passed through, he said the entire camp came together to try and rescue the injured. Recover, sadly, the dead at least 17 killed. If you're in a position to help and are so inclined, we have links to the Canadian and International Red Cross on our website at 680news.com. On the International Watch, Joe Stoll, 680news. 680 News Time 805. Among the Canadians in Nepal, a Toronto man who is no stranger to escaping danger, Adrian Gobriel of City News, speaks to the man's wife about his ordeal. Husband and father of three, Joe Raftus, was at base camp when he was making...